your body count? 22. I actually think that like women like to be cheated on. Life's too short to exercise, and you can be honest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bearable bull here. And I got this aggressively average content for you today, as that was a great clip showcasing to all of you the distractions put in front of you to keep you away from your goals and your success in 2024. All the distractions, the noise, the culture, leave it all behind. We in the XRP community are going on a different path, a lonely path. We've walked on the cobblestone and we're on our way to becoming the new 1%, my friends. And as all these world events are happening before your very eyes, David Schwartz is falling asleep at a Warriors game. <laughs> Caught you slipping, David. It's all love at the end of the day. The distractions before us, my friends, are whatever is going on on your social media platforms, whatever is going on with these elections. And trust me when I say that's important. Tucker and Putin, that was a powerful interview. But all of these things are keeping you from your goals. What you need to realize is you have to make your planning for your crypto profits happen now either you are accumulating your masterful entry points or you're figuring out targets for when you're going to sell as bitcoin has bypassed forty eight thousand dollars and while i don't think this is going to keep going up without a massive pullback first oh this is a sight to behold if you're a crypto investor Bitcoin being this bullish is going to lead to more momentum for all coins down the road. And we are perfectly positioned for this. Now, in regards to XRP specifically, we saw the XRP quarter four market report being now out. And this was actually posted by Masari. Ripple has done quarterly reports for the last five plus years now I, I believe and it was a great idea by ripple to commission masari as their own reports were slimmed they weren't as thorough and clearly biased and this outside analysis breeds additional confidence for ripple and xrp adoption for institutions and institutional DeFi coming with automated market makers but first my friends as i'm sure many other xrp community members dive deep into the massive token metrics for xrp and company progress by ripple i'm gonna sit here and tell you right now that clawbacks with XLS39 is now live on the mainnet. And this has enabled the clawback functionality on the XRP ledger. Technological updates are continuing to compound for XRP. And with AMMs going to be approved shortly. You have to know that 2024 in the coming months is going to be our time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to cap off this video for today, as I know it was a quick one because it's an informative one, I'm going to leave you with Daniel Keller showing a tutorial on what the clawback feature is on the XRP ledger. And I think tutorials like this on the technology of the XRPL is what's going to help the growth of our ecosystem and the growth of our ecosystem inevitably correlates with positive price when it's all said and done everything that gets built out now during the bear market and while the price is still low 
before the bulls really begin to rampage. All of this is what makes the difference. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's a powerful reason why all these updates are correlating with what we speculate to be a positive price moment for XRP in the coming months. And my friends, prepare now. This is where generational wealth is made, not chasing the top of green candles. And every single moment, you pay attention to this aggressively average content. You're slowly, but surely, becoming the new 1%. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bearable bull here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. Now I'll be back tomorrow with another video. What is clawback on the XRP ledger? In the evolving world of digital assets and cryptocurrencies, the management and control of tokens have become paramount. One such feature that has emerged to address specific needs is the clawback function. As we looked into the XRP ledger's freeze function already, and clawback has been addressed vaguely so far, let's have a look at it. At its core, the clawback feature allows issuers to retract or take back previously distributed tokens. However, it's essential to note that this function is not activated by default. To utilize the clawback feature, issuers must initiate a unique transaction called account set. This action enables the allow trust line clawback setting, granting the issuer the power to clawback tokens. The process of enabling clawback comes with specific prerequisites. Issuers who have already distributed tokens or activated certain account features, such as trust lines, offers, escrows, payment channels, checks, or signer lists are ineligible to activate clawback. This stipulation underscores the importance of strategic planning. Issuers must decide on using the clawback feature before any other significant account activity. Furthermore, once the clawback function is activated, it becomes a permanent feature of the account, eliminating the possibility of reversal. Other than with freeze, which makes tokens unspendable, clawback deducts the token balance in the target account. This is a fundamental difference. The introduction of the clawback feature addresses regulatory and compliance needs in the digital asset space. There are instances where, for legal reasons, issuers must retract tokens. For example, if tokens inadvertently land in the hands of entities involved in illicit activities, the clawback function empowers issuers to recover those assets, ensuring compliance with legal standards. However, a critical distinction exists. This feature is exclusively for specific tokens and does not apply to XRP. Clawback brings both advantages and disadvantages to the table. On the positive side, it facilitates issuers in meeting stringent regulatory requirements, ensuring that the on-chain record of tokens remains accurate and representative of actual balances. It offers a more straightforward approach than other on-ledger features like the freeze function. On the downside, clawback introduces an added layer of transactional complexity and necessitates comprehensive documentation especially to clarify its inapplicability to XRP. Conclusion The clawback feature is a testament to the dynamic nature of the digital asset landscape. As the industry matures, tools like clawback will play a pivotal role in bridging the gap between the decentralized world of cryptocurrencies and the regulatory frameworks that seek to govern them. While the feature offers clear benefits, its implementation requires careful consideration and strategic foresight. Opinion. Why is clawback controversial? 
Certain features like the AMM and clawback have been heavily promoted in the past weeks with sometimes obscure arguments. While the legal requirements are often cited, no real example has ever been given. As a matter of fact, David Schwartz stated that as of the time of writing, no real legal requirement or request exists. Other chains like Stellar, Chia or Ethereum do support the feature, and some stablecoin issuers are using them on certain chains, while they don't on others. Contrary to a freeze, which technically allows a user to dispute the action in court before any tokens are moved, a clawback can be executed at any given time, leaving the user empty-handed. The community often cites the risk of project-related rug pulls. However, few reports exist on abusive usage of the feature on any chain. During my research, I found only one issuer publicly citing support for clawback on the XRPL, Straits X, which is, according to their website, providing payments infrastructure for digital assets. Nonetheless, I do believe that clawback is an important feature and a step in the right direction. If you enjoy explainers like this one, share them with your friends and let me hear your thoughts. If you follow me on Twitter, YouTube and TikTok, you can help me spread factual knowledge about all things XRPL.